dative bond is one type of covalent bond. Okay, why is there a dative bond? This is formed because one atom contributes two electrons for sharing. Another atom at the same time, this atom needs two electrons to achieve either stable duplicate uh, to achieve the stable duplicate electron arrangement. Therefore, the dative bond is formed. Now let's look at another example. Okay. Now this example shows us that why is the acid showing? Uh, why is the acid uh, showing uh, acidity in the presence of uh, water? Okay. Now let's say I have HCl. When it is in water, this HCl it will dissociate to form the hydrogen ion and the chloride ion. And in the water, there are many of these water molecules. Do you still remember how to draw the water molecule? Ah, now let's draw. Now here, hydrogen atom, one valence electron. Oxygen atom, two, six as the electron arrangement. So now let's draw the water molecule first. Before I can explain to you about the data. Now, the oxygen atom, it will contribute how many electrons for sharing? Two electrons for sharing. Okay. So we start to draw the oxygen atom first. Here, yeah. this is the oxygen atom. Two, six as the electron arrangement. Okay, one, two. Now, for the six, one, two, three, four, five. And the six is here. Okay. Now, Hennity, I am going to put the hydrogen atom here. Okay. Just now I put the six there. One, two, three, four. Okay. The five and the six here. Okay. Now, here, I'm going to put the hydrogen atom. This is the hydrogen atom. With the electrons being shared, I put in cross this hydrogen atom with the electrons being shared, I put across here. Okay. Now, when this hydrogen ion is there, did you see that this is lone pair? Huh? No, not being shared. Two electrons are there. And at the same time, this hydrogen ion needs to achieve stable optic electron arrangement. So it will be attracted to this water molecule. So now I'm going to use the green. Here it comes. Okay. Now this is the dating bond. Can you see? The two electrons are being shared by the oxygen atom. Okay. And with this, it forms the H3O positive ion. This is H3. Can you see? 3H. O positive ion. What is the name of this ion? This ion is called as the hydroxonium ion. Okay. Now, in the next chapter, you'll find that this ion is the one which is uh, responsible huh, to show its acidic properties. Of course, we will always uh, take it as the hydrogen ion. So, when this HCl dissociates in water, Hydrogen ion is formed. This hydrogen ion will combine, huh? combine in the form of forming the dative bond with the water molecule to form the hydroxonium ion. So, if I were to represent it using lines like this, okay, this is the hydroxonium ion. So, where is the a dative bond, this is the dative bond. Who is the donor? The H2O is the donor. This H is the acceptor. Another example on the uh, dative bond or the coordinate bond. Okay, so I hope you can understand what we discussed about the dative bond today. Okay, if you have any problem, you can always text me, you can always contact me. I'll be there to answer your questions. Thank you very much for joining. See you next time.